Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love in the general for the sign of Aquarius for week ahead. So watch this video if you're an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with one, keep in mind that these are general readings. So it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit in. Pick only what resonates to you. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. So now let us see messages for Aquarius. And we have the devil energy at the bottom of the deck. Just when I cut the deck. So some of you, you might be feeling very suffocated in a situation. Some of you, you feel that you have been betrayed. And there was something that you did not see coming. And now you're kind of seeing the situation very clearly. And... Uh, you realize that you have been trapped or you were trapped in a situation like you ignored a red flag and then uh, yeah like then you were regretting getting into that situation so yeah that might have happened with you recently we'll clarify more on the situation all right now give me the present energy for aquarius please what is happening in aquarius life nine of pentacles you are just trying to be uh, by yourself. You just want to be left alone. You're trying, you're trying to focus on yourself. Some of you, I see a lot of money coming in because uh, you have been educating yourself, honing your skills, uh, putting a lot of attention to your own life. You have realized that you have to be your own savior. Nobody is going to come and save you. And uh, yeah, so you're just trying to take charge of your life and you're trying to be alone and you're just trying to be happy so it's not like you are alone and you're sad no 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 nine of pentacles is an energy where you're single all right and you're trying to enjoy your singlehood and i see a lot of money so this is basically um a pre-empress energy so before you become an empress uh, this is the stage you go through so i see a lot of abundance coming in so if you focus on yourself and you hone your skills and you take care of yourself indulge in some self-pampering and all of that universe is going to reward you heavily 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 all right so this is the energy that is um that is what is i'm seeing in the present what else <coughs> what what is coming towards um aquarius please six of cups somebody from the past <laughs> now six of cups is a reconciliation card i can't do anything like don't tell me i don't want to hear reconciliation and all of that bitch click out of the reading if you are not looking for a reconciliation because six of cup here is definitely a reconciliation energy and if you are somebody who do not want it out out of the reading like right now don't try to crib later on in the comment section be like i don't want my ex back then just leave bye bye we'll see you next time all right <laughs> this is for people who may be wanting to connect with their ex who are wondering what is up with their ex and i see your ex is wondering about you as well the emperor you were dealing with somebody who was probably um, elder to you, very, very mature. And uh, you were also replicating the same energy. So you are not like somebody who was um, below them. I see you and this person, you both were very strong personalities. And maybe because of that, the ego clashes happened or whatever, right? And because of which you might have disconnected. Yeah, so I see that was the problem. However, both of you kind of realize that you bring happiness in each other's life. So see, I see... Um, Whoever this person is, they are they are very hurt, all right, and they are they are wondering about you. Five of Cups is their energy towards you, and uh, Nine of Cups is what they feel about you. So some somebody here thinks that you are their wish fulfillment, and the kind of happiness that you add to their life it is unmatched, and they don't get it anywhere. I see somebody from your past definitely have you on their mind, and this person is wanting to reconnect with you because they feel emotionally very depleted without you. They think that they made a mistake by moving on from you or whatever happened between both of you so far we only have one bad card so this is definitely somebody regretting right they realize how they had such a beautiful connection with you and they kind of messed it unnecessarily and they are planning to come back to you six of cups you are on somebody's mind a lot a lot okay what else what else for aquarius please queen of sword yeah I see that somebody went cold on you, but now they want to express their feelings because they have been pretty miserable without you, nine of swords. Somebody is not able to sleep. You are on somebody's mind constantly. This person is regretting whatever happened between you and them and they want to fix the situation with you. 
so somebody who went cold on you somebody who was just acting very distant very mean for some reason i see this person is bringing in a lot of emotion into the situation so yeah if you felt that you were dealing with somebody who was just emotionless expre expect this person to come up with a lot of emotions towards you this time ace of cups is their energy towards you somebody wants to be open to you they want to confess something to you and all of this is coming from the fact that this person is not able to sleep lately because they are regretting whatever happened between you and them hmm okay let's see what happened in the recent past between aquarius and this person king of pentacles somebody maybe prioritize their work or stability over you somebody was very stubborn as well so maybe you were dealing with somebody who was very very stubborn so they they did not wanted to change their ways their ego kind of got in the ways what i see some of you this person also prioritized their work business money over you so that kind of uh made you feel really bad and that's why you decided to up level in your life so now you are operating from the same energy nine of pentacles you started working upon yourself you were like okay if this person is prioritizing their business work money status over me let me just elevate and do better in my life and just be happy by myself so that is the energy that you've picked up is what i see and i see now you are in this very passionate energy where you're trying to go after your goals and ambitions and you're trying to pursue things and universe is actually presenting you with a lot of opportunities so i see a lot of abundance coming in for you when you started prioritizing yourself that's a good thing so this person actually pushed you towards abundance like what best what better than that isn't it aquarius <laughs> somebody thought that they would uh, leave you or whatever and then then you're going to go miserable no you just shocked this idiot with success so you've become very successful or you are about to be very successful after a breakup so a heartache turned you into an empress wow this is a very beautiful energy <laughs> So we have the emperor and the empress. Some of you, this is soulmate connection, you know. And soulmate connections are a bit toxic, to be very honest. They push you to do better in your life. All right, they mirror you exactly. So whatever is missing in you, it's going to be reflected back at you. And this was what was happening exactly in your life with this person. As I said, you you both were very strong, very powerful people, and that actually got in the way. So some of you, you were definitely dealing with a soulmate energy here. That's why you know, even though you both took a break from each other you are still on each other's mind the six of cups all right <laughs> so i see a breakup actually pushed you towards success you've become very successful or you will become very successful after this period is what i see i see you just kind of closed yourself to this person the situation and you walked away you were like let me just focus on myself why am i chasing this person and now you just growing massively in your life I see a lot of abundance coming in, and this is only for those people who are working on themselves. Like if you're waiting for a miracle to drop in your, um, you know, lap, then this is not the reading for you, right? Even though tarot is predicting something, you have to move your ass and you have to do the work, right? I think that's just the common sense that I need to mention here because some people be like, I can't see any abundance in my life, honey. Nobody is going to bring a chest full of gold coins at your door knocking, right? That does not happen. This is not a Disney movie going on. This is. 21st century real life happening here all right until and unless you get up take charge of your life do things for yourself no opportunities are going to come in your way right so always keep that in mind what is the advice all right let's see this person's uh, next action towards aquarius please what is this person's next action towards aquarius four of pentacles they want to offer you the stable like they bitches queen of cups somebody is hiding their feelings for you but no more i see this person realizes they they have to open up to you this person wants to offer you stability so the stability you know some of you this person disconnected from you so that they could work upon their career so that was maybe a truth like this person was not trying to be mean to you maybe their ways were a bit weird like this person thought that this is the best thing that they could do to you to disconnect from you and focus on their work or whatever but yeah they were actually working hard for you and them and now they want to offer you the stability four of pentacles somebody wants to offer you commitment and long term queen of cups this person has a lot of love for you so of you this could be a water sign very strongly this person might have hidden their feelings in the past all right because they they were trying to do something else but now they realize that 
what's the fun of having so much success in life when you are not by their side so somebody is having some sort of realizations and that's why they're not able to sleep like they've become successful or whatever they wanted to achieve they have achieved but they are alone so now they are kind of regretting the fact that why did they let you go somebody is having some hard realizations these days what is aquarius feeling towards this person now what is aquarius feeling eight of pentacles you want to work on this connection as well eight of pentacles yep you also want this connection as much it's a mutual relationship both of you want to work upon this and again with the eight of pentacles i see money coming in some of you you have been putting in the hard work and universe is rewarding you this is very beautiful i already like this reading so much hero friend there's commitment some of you i see that you you are going to end up with this person because it is a mutual connection some of you it is a soulmate connection so you both were actually pushing each other towards success in the past and you both kind of elevated and now you are like a perfect match for each other and you are coming back is what i see what is the advice for aquarius here in the situation 10 of pentacles what are you doing with so many pentacles here king of pentacles nine of pentacles empress ten of pentacles eight of pentacles lot of money coming in aquarius lot of money your advice in of pentacles if you want this relationship then extend your support don't try to block this person to get a reaction out of them don't do that all right some of you your advice is also to take a break from your work and whatever and pay little attention towards your home and family in this person this relationship right like you have been working so hard for this relationship and in the process do not forget the relationship itself and that happens to a lot of people right they, they if you ask them why are they busy they be like i'm working for my family but they never really give the time to the family right then what's the point so some of you you both need to realize that yes you have been working really hard for your relationship and what not but you also need to give time to this relationship right so that is something that you don't have to miss and i definitely see a commitment in marriage whatever some of you you're definitely getting married to this person in the near future i see whatever confusion you were having whatever answers you were seeking you're going to get them all and all of this is actually going in your favor so this disconnect that happened in your life with this person it actually redirected your life so all of this actually worked in your favor you know sometimes when we are going through tough times we we really question as to why is this happening to me but all of the things that happen in our life they actually happen so that we can redirect our life right and we can we can see our priorities and we can work on our goals and what not so this is exactly what happened in your life and it is bringing in a lot of optimism again the sun card i see a lot of good times ahead for you aquarius this is like the best reading <laughs> yeah like you had basically taken a break from everything and you were focusing on your life it is rewarding you immensely a lot of blessings lot of abundance coming in and then this person as well like they love you so much they want to make this work with you what's going to be the outcome here nine of wands yeah see both of you are strategizing as to how can you come back together you also had your guards up this time because you don't want to get your heart broken just just be a little easy on yourself you have to take a leap of faith towards something that you're called towards right some of you i feel that you are being called towards a relationship and you kind of know intuitively that it is good for you so what's the point of you know blocking your own self some of you you're self sabotaging your life don't do that do not create unnecessary anxiety sometimes you have to take the risk to see what's going to happen your intuition is guiding you towards something already pay attention i also see some sort of truth secret is going to come out and it's the it's the happy truth because we have the sun card here so some of you this person is about to confess to you that how much you mean to them and they want to work make it work with you chariot you will be required to make a decision is what i see so you had been um, delaying making this decision about this relationship or what not finally you'll be you'll be asked or rather you'll be forced by the universe to decide what you want and then we have king of cups there is somebody who loves you a lot and this looks like a sugar daddy sugar mama kind of energy like not a bad one like a good one like this person wants to provide for you and again we have the king and the queen of cups here soulmate connection this is a freaking soulmate connection whoever this person is you are destined to be together and you don't have to be overly stressed like do not stress yourself all of this is going to work out for you don't have to worry about it all right like don't be worried as to did i fuck this up 
like i love this person where are where are they no if somebody is meant to be in your life you just can't fuck it up whatever is meant for you will not pass you right always remember that and your intuition is kind of guiding you towards that that yes this connection is meant to happen you are overly stressing yourself don't have to do it keep working upon yourself when you will do it this person is going to show up in your life right so because this person is coming as an emperor you have to be an empress and if you are a guy this woman whoever you are dealing with is coming as an empress you have to be the emperor so focus on being the energetic match focus on being that powerful match to this person working on your life focusing on yourself and automatically you're going to attract this person in your life or right, give me a message for aquarius very soon yeah somebody is coming in very very soon for you and for that you have to clearly decide like set an intention because you have been self sabotaging and not believing in yourself or what not and that's why things are getting delayed like just set an intention that i am ready um i'm i'm a match to this person i'm i'm ready to welcome love in my life and that's how you're going to get an answer from universe quickly right so you have to decide very very clearly like declare to the universe that you are ready to welcome this relationship in your life and then attraction i see somebody is very attracted to you and some and i told you this is true love like you guys are meant to be this is a romance of a lifetime yep you are meant to be you definitely are meant to be divine timing if you had been questioning yourself as to why is this not happening because divine timing was at play and trust that it is going to happen and i see somebody is going to express their love to you very soon it's a soulmate connection you guys are meant to be all right give me a message for aquarius please i miss you somebody is missing you ooh give me one more I am sorry for being selfish this person is sorry that yeah as i said you know this person was prioritizing their work money or whatever and they are sorry that they got selfish now when they have achieved things in their life they are like okay i achieved my goals but where is my aquarius like who do i celebrate my success with so they are sorry and we have please don't reject me this person is scared that you might reject them when they come back this time so you can decide if you want them or not But yeah, that's your message. That was the reading. Hope this episode resonated. If it does, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. I will see you very soon in the next video. You guys, take care. Stay safe. Bye.